How to create consistent characters with Google's flow in VO3. Let's go over what works and what doesn't work. So there are different ways that we're going to try. Use detailed character descriptions, anchor with reference image, and name your character and use that repeatedly. I fed an image into ChatGPT and asked it for a panel of characters full body from different angles. Then once you're in flow, you're going to go ingredients to video, and you're going to feed these images into VO3. Using ChatGPT or another large language model to write your prompt for you is a very useful resource with VO3. So you want to write use reference photo for character. Uh, I named him Jordan, and then I'm going to paste in the image and style that I want. I want to keep that consistent with all my videos. You're going to see here that it's not actually using VO3. We're using VO2. And this is what came out. It's our character. He's in his yellow suit. He's up in space, and our style is quite consistent. Uh, this was the first one I put in, and I didn't use the style reference for the image. It kind of looks a bit different. And this one I wrote in to make it look hand-drawn, etc. It's the same character, but the style is different. So you want to make sure if you want to have a consistent style, if you're making a short film, something like that, make sure you copy and paste the exact style reference. Now, I wanted to try the jump to feature in the scene builder to see if VO3 could remember the previous character. Put in jump to our character Jordan. I put him in an interplanetary cantina. I wrote what he was wearing, put in the image style, and I wanted to see if it would come out with what I gave it. And unfortunately, when you use the jump to feature, it seems like it just, it really weights heavily on the previous image. Now, so I went ingredients to video. Now I put our character Jordan back in the cantina and I wanted to try adding a different ingredient, adding a new character to see what would come out. So we did get our same character, but the style is a little bit different. I think it was weighted because of the anime character that I added, but we still got her in there, which is cool. Now let's go over using detailed character descriptions. So this isn't gonna be using the reference images. This is just gonna go straight text to video. I wrote in here our character Jordan, mid thirties. I gave a detailed description of what he looked like and I wanted to see if VO3 could remember the previous characters and see what we got here using this uh, actual VO3 with the experimental audio. So unfortunately, it just doesn't remember really the, I'm the, last the previous man alive. frame. I need to find out if there are any other survivors. I realize I also forgot to put in the reference image style. So I'm doing it again. I'm going to put in the image style and let's see what VO3 is going to give us. So here you can see it didn't even get it close it's to correct. Here. It's cold out here. It's totally wrong. So the good news is you can create consistent characters in different worlds, but you're not actually going to be using the full VO3 most updated version, you're actually using VO2, so you can't get audio, but I think it works quite well. Hope you enjoyed.